Okay, Winty's finished her duck neck dinner and she's come up and this is her encouraging her puppies to toilet and eating all their waste products. I love the first three weeks because I don't have to clean up anything. Winty does it all. And then Lucy coming to see. So it's a big advantage in taking the piece of white hardboard out a few days before the puppies are ready to start exploring out there because it's given all the animals a chance to adjust. And as you noticed earlier, they've started to have a look and think, oh, something out there, let's go that way. Hello, Lucy. Here are well, puppies. Do you want to go see the puppies? Do you want to go see puppies? You see Winty's head's gone down, but she's lying because she's lying down. So she utterly does not think that Lucy represents any threat to her puppies. And I believe her. I think she uh, she reads dog body language way better than me. So if Rue comes to have a look and Winty isn't bothered, then I will assume it's because Rue means... Okay, I'm holding Rue here and Winty's head's come up. So she doesn't have total confidence that Rue doesn't have evil intentions towards her puppy. But now her head's gone down and she's quite relaxed, but she's not closing her eyes and going to sleep. She's just noticing where Rue is. But she could see that I was actually dragging Rue over here rather than Rue wanting to come over here. But again, you can see she has a... She's just keeping an eye on the situation just in case. But this definitely isn't an anxious dog in any way. And Sadie, do you want to go see the puppies? Now, no bitch has ever been cross at Sadie coming to see her puppies because Sadie's terribly mumsy and it's pretty obvious to Winty that Sadie not only doesn't mean her puppies any harm but would quite like to lick them and look after them for her. So if I'm trying to read a doggy, dog's body language and its emotional state and I'm not sure what's going on, I look to my own dogs to tell me because I assume that they speak dog much better than I speak dog. So if somebody's a, a dog is approaching us in the park and I'm not really sure if its intentions are good or not, I look down at my own dogs. If they're relaxed and happy, then I assume that the dog's intentions are good. And sometimes I see a dog who, to me, looks utterly, you know, I wouldn't have a minute's hesitation about it. It looks completely reliable and well-intentioned to me. <laughs> but if my dogs are afraid, then I believe them. If they think there's something to be worried about, then it's far more likely that they are correct than that I am. And so I, I have great faith in my dog's ability to read other dogs. I have massive faith in Sadie's ability to find me after she's gone hunting in the woods, which she always does. Not to assume they're stupid. If you assume they're stupid, they probably will be stupid. If you assume that they have common sense and intelligence, um, then you will find a lot of these. Now this is a Lucy who wants to play so she's actually picked up a toy in her mouth and she's brought it to me and I love the way she communicates with me like that. So now we'll have a little tug of war. Ah, that's it Lucy. And there she goes. You found it? Good dog Lucy. Yay! Bring it here. Bring it here Lucy. Good dog. Again, we've got, this is the highest energy dog at the moment. She's only 11 months old. Go, Lucy! So when she wants to do more than everybody else wants to do, then I love the way she communicates that to me by finding a toy and bring it over. And then we have a lovely game. Quite often this is a lovely game I can have while being sat down watching TV. She brings it to me, I throw it. And the game finishes when she's had enough or when I've had enough, whichever comes sooner. And then she's taken the toy off. And she's going to bring it back. Yay, Lucy! Good dog! 
So that's one of the ways of coping with a, a member of the family who's much higher energy than the rest of the family. <laughs> you find little games to play, and I love the way Lucy tells me which game she would like to play. And the game she would like to play at the moment is Fetch. And I'm purposely, if I wanted her to calm down, wouldn't be playing with the toy like this with her and doing tuck of war. And it quite suits me that she's willing to fetch toys for 10 or 15 minutes at a time because it means when she's high energy, I don't have to take all five of us for a walk. I can, um, I can give her something useful to do. Okay, now I really am wittering, so I'm going to stop and play probably with the Lucy. Lucy, by the way, is a kapapoo, so this is what you can, ex you can expect from your kapapoo. The only difference between Lucy and most kapapoos is she's got a poodle haircut, because I don't know how to do a kapapoo haircut. Sorry, Lucy, you just have to look like a poodle. Go! Who's trying to seek attention, and Sadie, who's such a polite dog, I love the way she wants to be near you, but she'll just lie down quietly. Who never lies down quietly next to you? She comes over, attention to me, attention to me, attention to me. And this is, of course, completely my fault, because she's so unutterably cute that when she asks for attention, I give her attention. So, consequently, she asks for attention more. Lucy asks for her attention by bringing me a toy. Go get it, Lucy. Go find it. And I like saying go, go, go whenever my dog leaves me. Because the dog training books taught you a lot about how to bring your dog to you, but they never tell you how to tell it to just go away. And sometimes, you know, lovely though they are, you actually just want them to go away. Leave me alone. Stop nagging me. Come on, Lucy, bring it up here. Yay, on a bed. Good dog, Lucy. Good dog, Lucy. Okay, Lucy, leave it. Leave it. If she doesn't leave it, I'll stick my finger in there. Leave it. Good dog. Go! This dog's an absolute delight to play with. She's really focused in her playing. Give me Lucy. Um, you can actually play a constructive game with her. This is also really nice for her because, you know, as the... The fourth of four children, she probably didn't get as much one-to-one -one attention as the others did. So she's making her own, her own game. Oh, she's lying down, so I reckon she's finished. Night-night, Lucy. Oh, night-night, puppies. 